everybody and welcome back to Sweet and Spicy Sims. It's your girl Lo and we are back with a new LP. Yes, new season, new month. What? New LP. Uh-huh. So Oops, my bad y'all. I had stepped out real quick to get a little popcorn because this, <laughs> this episode fitting to be juicy. But I wanted to tell y'all real quick before we move on to it to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you're not subscribed and you see that bell, go ahead and click that bell Put it to all so you can get all the videos that I'm going to drop on this channel. And oh yeah, if you end up liking this episode because I put my hard work, sweat and tears and blood and everything up in this, y'all, go ahead and hit that like button. All right, all right, let me sit down, be quiet, eat my popcorn because this episode, like I said, finna be good. All right, back to the regular scheduled programming. Peace. Uh -huh. So this one takes place in Willow Creek in the winter time and it is titled The Stor The Life of Miss Charisma Wellington. So this is Miss Charisma. Isn't she pretty, y'all? She's really sad and uncomfortable right now, but she is really pretty. And she is Miss Charisma Wellington. She is a 17-year-old teenager um, who currently lives in this two-bedroom duplex with her mother and her father. They've been living here for almost a year, so they know a few people in the town, not too many. And the people they do know is not good news, okay? Um, well, what a couple people are, but the majority, like the people that the mom and dad know, mm -mm, y'all, they is not good news at all. Um, they do have a neighbor. Her name is Miss Brenda Jenkins. So she, um, lives in the other home attached to theirs because they live in a, uh, a duplex. So, um, Miss Brenda lives in the other one and hers is also a two bedroom. You'll see Miss Brenda from time to time because she helps out Miss Charisma, um, a lot because of her family situation and what I mean by her family situation is her mama and her daddy are both addicted to alcohol and drugs so um the mom is Miss Roxanne Wellington this is her and this is Mr. Dennis Wellington that's her father and we'll meet them in a few I just wanted to kind of get the little storyline out the way and then we'll go in and see their home and um we'll get to playing but yeah they are both addicted to some heavy 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 stuff so um they have tried to go to rehab they have not been successful in rehab uh, charisma she kind of begs them each and every day to you know stop drinking especially her mom like leave the drugs alone just walk away and stuff but you know being an a, a, um, addict is really hard to step away from it is like a disease okay so it is hard 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 for them to step away and just say no to it um, but charisma is not giving up on her mother um, recently and I say she's not giving up her mom she's given up on her dad pretty much because recently they got into a heavy duty argument and her dad decided to lay hands on her mother so charisma is like pretty much over him okay she was trying to ask her mom and encourage her mom to leave but her mom was just like no 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 he's going to do better and all this other stuff so we are going to have to try to get miss roxanne out of there get her some help or whatever but you know charisma is just going to try and try and try and try and try each and every day to help her mother because her mother is a gorgeous woman and she is better than this this life that she's living right now so charisma is going to try to help her you know live a better life and yeah so charisma wants to uh graduate from high school of course she does want to graduate from high school and she wants to own her own um salon so she is really into fashion and to beauty and to um making you know she just wants to see the world beautiful so she comes from a rough um background and her home is not very beautiful on the outside and the inside is kind of trashy but she wants to she sees things like in a beautiful way um if you know what i'm saying like she sees things she'll see like a crack in the wall and then 
see that as beauty and be creative with it or whatever so she just wants to make things beautiful she wants to own her own um salon she wants to make other people beautiful inside and out she just wants people to she just wants to see her work of art on other people she wants her work of art to be walking around with other people versus on the wall if you if you get if y'all get what i'm saying you know because i believe that stylists are like artists because if you see how they can turn like some nappy weave into something so beautiful child i just look at my beautician and be like girl you did that but anyway yeah so that is her goal she wants to um go to cosmetology school get her um esthetician license and all that other good stuff and she wants to own her own spa and wellness and have like a little salon inside of there so she wants to do all of that of course like I said she wants to graduate um, high school she wants her mother to um, she wants to build a better home and a better living situation for her and her mother pretty much and um, so that's her goal um, well right now her goal is master chef I don't know why that is her goal me I will have to change it because I believe when I made this they did not have the aspiration that I wanted so I will definitely have to change that but um at any rate let's see where some of her um I don't know why I always do that why does she have trash in her well, she she must have been trying to clean up y'all <laughs> so um her traits are uh, practical she's the doer loves living on the edge she uh, has a different hobbies sports athletic pursuits she likes risky adventures activities like race car driving boxing flying all that good stuff she, like i said they live in willow creek and ironically she prefers to live there i didn't even pick that she is an aquarius um she wants to be in an exclusive romantic relationship okay and she loves the color pink all right what else um mischief mm -mm. she um I mean, writing struggles with learning writing for some sons it's hard for the right words to come to paper and writing is a little more of a challenge than it may be for others okay her style is boho interesting uh she does not want to get pregnant right now good because i'm not trying to get you pregnant right now girl uh handiness there is nothing she can't fix so that's good she has a feminine fashion mm, she really does not she has more of a tomboyish type um or masculine type fashion so uh, i wonder if i can take that off i don't you know some stuff just pops up there so that just popped up there i'll have to see if i can fix that um every man she has the acting natural born actor trait and she's immune to meningitis which is good and she has the essence of flavor so she likes to cook and drink so maybe she can do that too so i don't see nothing wrong with her learning how to cook but that's definitely not what she wants to do so yeah all right so that is miss charisma wellington now let's go in here and meet her mama and her daddy okay now this is their home okay so let's see if we can get in here all right y'all y'all know i'll be struggling with this i'm gonna try i'm gonna try <laughs> so, here. so this is inside their front door and as you already saw it's dirty the uh, paint is chipping they got ivy all over the place they are renting this home i'm surprised they're still able to afford this home because most of that money goes in their um nose up their nose um so this is this is the kitchen okay so this is the kitchen as you see the fridge is, oh lord the fridge is dirty they got dirty dishes in the sink they got bottles of alcohol over the place bottles of alcohol here stains all on the counter um it's just a mess y'all cracks all in the wall p old pizza chip bags a cleaning bucket like the daddy got some stripper thing on the wall child it's just a hot mess so that's their kitchen look at the cracks and the dirt all up there like just disgusting stains all on the kitchen floor look at that and then 
this is their little hallway and this leads out to the patio this door right here and then that's their fish tank i don't even think they have any fish in there if they do they're dead um <laughs> so yeah this is the living room so let's go oh that's the stripper the dad won that in some poker game or whatever so you put it up on the wall and look more cracks in the wall more dirt more empty pizza boxes is their living room this is miss roxanne this who is these people they invited some people over i think this is the neighbor i don't know who that man is, is that dom that might be their um plug did they call them over here to get some oh my god this is um more dirt and stuff on the wall empty look old food whiskey bottles cigarettes like it's just ridiculous child laundry over here on the couch where is the daddy at they got laundry all on the couch the old tv laundry in the corner like it don't make no sense let's go inside i think he might be the plug I might have to see in a minute, y'all. Let me finish giving y'all this tour. And then if you go down the hallway, let's go on down the hall. He's on down, he's on down the hall. Let's go, he's on down, he's on down the hall. All right, so we're going, he's on down. Let me see if I can get in this bedroom back here. here. Oh, what are he doing in her room? This is not his room. This is Charisma's room. I don't know why her daddy is in here. But this is Charisma's room, and um, this is the nicest room in the house, okay? She keeps her room clean. Um, she has little paintings on the wall. She has her mirror to kind of cover up the crack in the wall. Um, who is eating tacos in here, child? She got her bed spread. So she hustled and made, you know, made some money and stuff, and was able to afford this cute little bed spread and this mirror. She doesn't really have nice tables, so she had has these crates and stuff, and she just try to make her, make, mm, I can't talk, make her room look, you know, really pretty and presentable for her. So these are more her posters and stuff. It's not a lot, but you know, it's hers, and she does have her little comforter in the um corner on her floor right there. Again, I don't know why the daddy in here, but that's her dad, child. Who knows what he doing? All right, let's go and get up out of here. Bye, Dennis. We'll see you in a little bit. Okay, so this room is their bedroom. Look at this. A hot mess. So he got more stripper stuff on there. Who knows what he got his Viva Mexico hat from because he ain't traveled nowhere. He ain't even traveled down the block. Um, These cracks all up in the wall. Alcohol on the counter um old chinese food they got this bed from good child look like from the wilderness like somebody shot a deer and put it together uh old food splatters chips old newspapers like they reading or something dirt all on the wall ain't clean nothing just nasty just nasty uh and these little paper curtains right there child you know how you get a get a place and that's all they got that's all they kept is some paper curtains let's go on out of here all right so and then the last room so it's a two bedroom one bath so this is the bathroom um it has a separate shower and tub there and the toilet is behind here and then like they have little pictures on the walls and stuff and then toilet paper all on the floor and that's pretty much it for the bathroom let me see it is a sink oops nope it is a sink and a mirror over there but other than that that's pretty much it for the um for the house so yeah let me go back to miss charisma so go on in here girl so that is the house the mom um her traits is look at her face such a pretty lady but look at her face child mm, mm, mm. she is a bum a juiceaholic um her style is hipster style she's very erratic um that heavyweight she is a willow creek resident um she loves to sing she has a beautiful beautiful voice and she loves to sing but you know that aina that messed up her voice 
Um, she's trying to learn about life, parenting style, slow learning parents. She became a parent very young. Um, so she and her husband, they got, um, not she got, they got, um, she got pregnant when she was in high school. So, um, she's a very young mom and, um, they're just kind of just learning, you know what I'm saying? She prefers a non-exclusive romantic relationship. I bet she do with this husband and she's a addict. Um, video gaming she's gifted at dash her favorite color is black she's a gifted author she likes feminine fashion every man and she's the nurturer she's also meningitis immune a big gamer and she would be happy to be pregnant right now girl is you serious Roxanne if you don't stop playing with me girl and then Dennis for his trifling self he is a kleptomaniac, juiceaholic. He's a gambler, girl. Uh, he's just learning about life. A hard pass on hard. He's logic. What? He a science child. I know you lying. Every man trait. <laughs> he is very greedy. He want everything for him. 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 He's a heavyweight. Um, he also prefers a not exclusive romantic co um relationship. He's an inspector. He has a green thumb in gardening and fishing. Interesting. He is a programmer. Um, he's a addict. He is neutral regarding having children. His favorite color is black. He wants to live in Newcrest, so he's in love with Newcrest. He really does not like living in Willow Creek. Uh, so that will be a problem. He um his style is very basic and he's into masculine fashion so that is mr dennis um they both do not have any jobs and they're both trying to kind of figure it out um he did have a job but then he was fired because you know he kept coming into work high so they let him go and roxanne she um enjoys to she enjoys writing and she was a teacher but he convinced her to quit her job so yeah so they both do not have any jobs um charisma i don't think she has a job right now because her job is basically school um she just hustles pretty much so if she can find something to sell she'll do that or if she um does like a pick up an eye job or something she does that too so again i'm not sure why she has this trash in her bag but we just gonna leave it there i'm assuming she was trying to clean up so i'm gonna let her go ahead and go in this house is brenda home uh miss brenda what you doing lord who called miss brenda over I where is he being flirty for? He like, baby, what's going on? What you out here for? She like, well, you know, I'm not feeling real good today. And, you know, I'm hungry and stuff. And we ain't really got no food in the house. And really, really got no money. Look, he like, look, I don't want to hear that shit. He go in the house. He's just ignorant. Just ignorant, y'all. Just freaking ignorant. Miss Brenda, why are you in here? Let's see. She gonna come in here and talk to Miss Brenda. This is Miss Brenda. She is our neighbor. Uh oh. Let me see. I think this is Don. No, that's Travis. Not Travis Scott. Um. <laughs> I didn't realize I called that man Travis. That's their new neighbor. Um. I think she got a crush on him. That he lives across the street with his sister, and um, Dom he was part of the base game but i made him i believe he is the plug so oh he didn't want to sleep who be he in okay because you gotta make sure she went to bed too lord how y'all going to be and y'all got these people in this house and you ain't feed your daughter come over here and talk to miss brenda girl so it says Miss Brenda is the roommate. The only way I can make her the neighbor was to make her the roommate without her um going in the house. I hate that we don't really have like the ability to make like apartments apartments, you know what I'm saying? Without you know what I'm saying? I hate the fact that we can't really play like 
their neighbors without them going into each other's house and stuff like that so i hate that i wish they do like an update on that maybe if they do city living update we'll get that feature if they do a, um a reboot or whatever the heck they called it like they did spa day so i don't know but i wish they or somebody come out with a mod where the neighbors don't all they gotta knock on the door and stuff you know y'all know what i'm saying <laughs> and if y'all don't then figure it out shit i don't know but <laughs> look um if y'all don't go home street i don't know why dom is here unless they call him over to get some stuff because he, like I said, he is the plug, so maybe they call him over here to get the, get some, some, a, a package, <laughs> but I know I ain't telling him to come over here. What he's saying? Something in my game broke, y'all. Oh, Lord, I thought I fixed everything. All right, so Travis is unemployed. All right, so her first impression of... Travis is she feels that he is very strong-minded and Travis sentiments about charisma is that he's an interesting sim so they are neighbors like I said and um they're neither friend or foe just an average relationship okay that's cool and I like the way you say that they neighbors I wonder where I got where that came from that's interesting that's the first time I saw that on so I wonder if it say something here for her the day neighbors Oh no, see it don't say today neighbors. Oh, Cara, she thought she was pretentious. <laughs> she thought she was interesting. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, and this is Liberty. So Liberty is, is Liberty, I think Liberty is Travis's sister. I, I school started not, girl did you get you ain't even eat or get no sleep but she was fine why is he still dom if you don't go home he seemed like he trying to go okay so travis like i'm going to be i guess that's what he said he going to be she gotta get ready to go to school where the mama at so the mama is uncomfortable what's going on with her oh lord she need a hit all right so the mama needs some stuff and it looks like she don't have nothing oh he must be about to leave or something shoot all right i'm gonna just let him go and then yeah he's about to leave that's why i can't do nothing all right so so look she get angry because she craving girl you gotta call that man back over here all right so we gonna have miss charisma go off to school Look, mama is mad. She like, where he go? She can't even fuss at charisma because the charisma already went to school. She like, God damn, where he go? Where he go? I know he was just out here. So she gonna invite him to hang out at the lot. She like, um, um, I know you just left, but I, I, I had, I had fell asleep and, and, and I need, I need some of that good stuff. Can, 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 can you come through? Can you come through? He like, all right, girl, I'll be right over. I'm about to charge y'all extra because y'all keep having me come on the highway to come over here and whatnot. Shoot. Look at her. She is so pretty. Messing with that stupid husband. She like, hey, thank you for coming over so fast. Like, I need that stuff. Like, you got that, you got that, um, you got that powder. A clone de Bluma. He like, yeah, I got that powder. She like, oh my God, four hundred eighty dollars. You know I ain't got that on me. You know I ain't got that on me. You know I ain't got that on me. He like, yeah, you know I got it on me, but it's gonna cost you. She like, you know I ain't got it. You know I ain't got that. She like, well, what we gonna do? Cause I ain't giving it to you for free. And she like, I don't even. All right, all right, all right. Well, you know, can we can we do like a little exchange? You know, a little exchange for something. He like, why not? I need to blow off a little steam, or you could do it for me if you catch my drift. What? My horoscope told me that I'm going to have <laughs> this week, so I thought I would ask. Well, if the horoscope says, <laughs> I can't. Well, if the horoscope says so, can't fight fate. Horoscope. Do you also believe in mole people? Stars and all, uh-uh. Well, you can't be feet. Child, where are they about to go? 
I don't even want to see where they about to go. Y'all just going in the hallway. Where y'all about to go? Oh no, not Charisma's room! Oh, they in the bathroom. Oh my god, I was about to go off. <gasps> oh my god, girl. Oh my god. <laughs> she said she gonna get this powder. Okay, she says she gonna get this powder by any means necessary. Girl, no, you better not be. Oh my God, you ain't using no protection. <gasps> Roxanne, we just started the freaking. We gonna look at the fish. They ain't got no fish. <laughs> What's wrong with him? He needs some. Oh my God! What you gonna do, da da Dennis? You only got seventy eight dollars. Who this late? Wait a minute. Who this lady? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me pause real quick. Wait, this thing still going? God dang! Oh man, I got to put a smiley face over your big old bitties. Um, who is this lady? What? Y'all, wasn't it just a random? Red hair lady in here. Dang, I don't want to put these walls down, but where'd that lady go? Or am I tripping? I know y'all saw it was a, a random lady. Now the lady gone, of course. But I know it was the lady who was just. A, was that social service? Oh, I wonder if that was social services. <gasps> Did Miss Brenda call social services? Okay, this Miss Brenda house, y'all. So, <laughs> well, we just looking at Miss Brenda house. She ain't home. She must be at work. So, this Miss Brenda house. She also has a two bedroom duplex. She, she has a granddaughter that comes over from time to time. That's around about um Christmas age, and then that's her bathroom. Y'all see how it's like night and day from each house and stuff, but they got the same setup and everything. But it's like night and day. She take care of her ish. Day. Mm 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 mm. Um. But for real though, where'd that lady go? Dennis, I don't know how you gonna get what you need because you over here going through it. He is jonesing, y'all. And he hungry. Um, I don't know what, Dennis, what you finna do? Is this yours? Go ahead and eat it. Knowing your scholarships. Uh, Okay. I don't know why they popped up, but okay. Um, go ahead and eat the your apple salad, child. It's spoiled. Ain't it spoiled or it ain't spoiled? Is it spoiled? He, I mean, he, right now he ain't got no choice but to eat it. Because, yeah. He up here eating his little apple salad. His little spoiled apple salad, child. Is the wife still at it? God, girl. I don't even know why I clicked on her. <laughs> she gonna make me work extra. Dennis look real sad eating this spoiled apple salad. Oh, it's a poor. I thought it said spoiled. So he over here doing that. He just look miserable, child. Um, yes, there she go. Who is this lady? Pause. Look, she looking in the oh, y'all. Let me go back. Go back. Look at this lady looking in the window. Y'all, who is this lady? I wonder if she's social services. Yo, Dennis, you need to come out here and talk to this lady. Figure out who this lady is. Talk to her. Go away. Tell her to go away. Shoot. Mm, mm, mm. Alright y'all, we don't have to figure out who that lady is because if she is social services and she peeking all in the window taking pictures and stuff, they will go to jail. Do you hear me? Like they will go to jail. J -j jail. J -j -j jail. Where my lady go? Oh my god, I'm about to stop them because they just doing too much at this point. <laughs> What is my wife doing? Sergio. 
Hey, Dennis, we love to have you join Paragon. So, no. He don't know nothing about that. He like, is Paragon some, some alcohol? What kind of alcohol is that? Look, he look real miserable right now. She in here working for her life. Did she get her stuff? Okay. Let me go in here. Child, let me go in here. I don't even want to go in here. Do she got clothes on? Of course she don't. <laughs> <laughs> of course she doesn't. Alright, let's 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 put that wall up. Let's see. Alright. Girl, can you put some... Let me pause real quick. Because if he leave without giving us our stuff, I'm going to be real mad. Dom. He walking out like, yeah. I did that. He like, wait a minute, wait a minute. You ain't give me my stuff. He like, my baby, my baby, my bad, babe, my bad. You earned that. You earned that. You definitely did that, girl. <laughs> Call me if you need a re-up. All right, all right. She like, thank you, thank you, thank you. Girl, put your damn on clothes back on. Walk around. You ain't, just, no shame. Put your clothes on, Roxanne. All right, Roxanne ain't got no shame, y'all. None. She was just walking out all butt naked. What? Why is Dennis inviting Travis over here? She like, thank you, thank you. He like, yeah, baby, just, you know, hit me up when you need a re-up. All right, all right. He like, all right, bye, Dennis. See you. <laughs> he gonna leave out. Dennis looking all sad and... <laughs> <one week. laughs> Let's see, she got her stuff. Where is it? Okay. Dang, she only got one line, too. That's the same. All right. We gonna put that. Is she gonna pee right now? Let's put. Um, open it up. Oh, she got five of them. Okay, so she going. He like, baby, you got that stuff. You got enough for me, baby, baby, baby. You get enough for me, baby, baby. He went in the bathroom. The ass gonna find out. Did she get enough for him? He don't even care. He don't even care. Yeah, she just had to had to do some 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 strange things in that bathroom. She like I got enough for you. God dang. Cause he getting mad. He getting mad. Look, he didn't came over here and got it before she did. That's some trifling ish. She ain't even get hers. He like yeah, I'm good now. I'm good now. Travis like what kind of ah. shit. <laughs> Did he just do that in front of me, yo? Yo, did he just do that in front of me? Girl, did you even get yours? No, no you didn't. This sorry son of a chicken. He's, I'm telling y'all, he is sorry. For some reason, I can't put it on nothing higher. I have tried to put it on a higher, um, like the counter and stuff, but for some reason I can't put it on there. I'm going to try, I'm going to continue to try to do it, but, um, girl, what is you doing? He like, yo, dude, why you here? Uh, you called me over here, my G? Oh, I did? My bad, my bad, Slim. My bad. <laughs> My bad. Look, she feeling good. He's like, yeah, my dude. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. I forgot I had called you over here, dude. My bad. My bad. So, was, 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 you got some, you got some funny, though? You got some? Oh, you ain't got none. Oh, you need to go then, my dude. You got to go. Bye. Bye. You got to go. All right, what's wrong with him? He is strong, independent, and not neatly decorated. Travis, like, all right, dude. I don't even know why you called me over here to begin with. All right. So, teaches that Buckingham High thinks she could easily improve just a little bit. Okay, whatever, girl. She doing good. All right. Um, she feeling good, so she wanna get all freaky deaky. Charisma, she like, I'm just hungry. I don't even feel like it. 
she try and come in here and get something to eat. Have some lunch, girl. Um, get you a grilled cheese. So that's all y'all got. Her mama stinks. She don't even care. Girl, is that the outfit you left? Where you get that? See, she probably done stole some clothes. <laughs> she did not leave the house with that outfit on. She did not leave the house with that outfit on. What he mad for now? Uh-uh. So he mad because she... Oh, my God. Y'all, see? He going on these rages. He going on these rages. Now, she was... When she get her stuff in her, she real flirty, she real confident, all that other stuff. He get it in him, now he jealous. He thinking she flirting with other people. Look, flirty spouse. Then this spouse was flirting with another. Have they been doing this behind his back? Now, she ain't flirting with nobody. Who she was flirting with? See, he coming down. He coming down and he craving more, but he ain't putting in no work. So now he upset. But you just let her do some strange things in the bathroom and you wasn't upset about that. But Travis leave and she didn't even talk to Travis. And now he jealous talking about something. Oh, you talking to people behind my back. You was flirting with that young man and stuff. And she like, flirt, baby, I want you. I wasn't flirting with nobody. And he like, I saw you. I saw the way you was looking at that boy. I saw the way you was looking at that boy. You probably called him over here. She was like, I didn't. You called him over here, honey. And he like, no, 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 no. That ain't what it was. That ain't what it was. That You call him over here, whatever. You call him over here, old trifling hoe. That's what you is. You a hoe. I do not um, condone this behavior at any means. This is not good behavior. But he wanna he wanna argue. He just wanna argue. So he gonna argue. <laughs> That's what he gonna do. See, like I don't even understand. I don't understand. This is not like, baby. I know, baby. I just wanna love you. I want you, baby. Like I just want you. And he like, what? You don't want me? And she like, I do want you. I do. Baby, don't be upset with me. I love you. And then look, he done stormed off. He went into the wrong room and stuff. Now she, now she like, but baby, just calm down. I want you. He like, but I saw you. I saw you. You didn't, baby. It was, that's not it. That's not it. Here, 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 here. I got another line. I got another line for you, baby. I got another line for you. Here. Here you go, baby. Here you go. Mm -mm. He like, all right, baby. I was just playing with you. I was just playing with you, baby. You got another line for me? You got another line for me, my baby? baby. <laughs> you know I get, baby. You know I get, you know. <laughs> sorry, baby. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She like, yeah, yeah, uh-huh. I, mean, I, got another, I got another line for you over there. He like, all right, baby. All right, all right. My bad, baby. My bad. Whew. Child. Mm, he about to be calm now. Look. Trifling. She need to come in here and take her a shower because I don't even think she washed after uh, she was with um, Butch Popper. He like, it's all right, baby. Come on. Let's go in the shower real quick. My bad. I ain't mean all that yelling, baby. I ain't mean all that. I ain't mean to do all that. She like, yeah, baby, of course. I know. I know. Ooh, this, ooh, this relationship is so toxic. This is a dangerous relationship. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Charisma like, I'm just... I'm going to just do my homework. <laughs> she just... Poor baby. She's just going to do her homework. So, y'all, this is where I'm going in this episode. Because this was a lot going on in this one little episode. We going to have it. And she, she break out. She got a breakout going on. Poor baby. She probably stressed. Oh, Lord. And, oh, my God. Girl, why you ain't said nothing? We got to go down to the store and get you something. She had an annoying day in school. Dark spot. She needs some fun. Ugh, the poorly made food. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yo. Oh my god. Okay, so let's get back up there. Like I ain't see that. Oh 
Poor girl. Okay, I'm gonna have her go down to the convenience store and get her some stuff. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead in this episode right here. Like I said, um, daddy. Don't come out here bothering her. She is doing her homework. <sighs> Child. What do Dennis want? I, you know what? Like I said, y'all. Charisma just want to do her homework because she is just trying to get out this house. She is very focused on getting out of this house, moving away from these crazy parents. She don't want to live here no more. She just wants to get out, get her own, and live her life to the fullest. And her father and her mother will bring her down. But she is focused on getting up out of this hellhole. Um, if y'all enjoyed this episode please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell to be notified for when I drop new videos. And for all those who are watching my videos and are already subscribed to my channel, I just want to say thank you. Um, go ahead and also put some comments down there in the comment section. Communicate with me and I will communicate with you. Um, yeah, y'all. So I, like I said, that's the end of this episode. Um, I will see y'all in the next one. Until then, y'all stay blessed. Peace.